Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, so I decided to make some banana bread and I was like, you know what, let's film it. Um, since we've been in quarantine, my mom and I have honestly baked so much and one of the things that my parents and my siblings like the most is my banana bread. So that's what we're going to be making today. Um, and I'm going to show you guys how I do it. I am no baker person. I'm not a chef. This is just how I make it. Uh, but yeah, I, I thought it'd be fun. Um, to film something since there's not much filming I've been doing so I'm gonna show you guys the ingredients and um, yeah we're gonna need so I'm making two loaves of banana bread um, so I'm only gonna be showing you guys one and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make the chocolate chip banana bread because if you don't want chocolate chips all you literally have to do is not um, put chocolate chips in so obviously you're gonna need flour you need some oil, some sugar, white sugar or brown sugar. I like to use brown sugar, but we don't have any. You're going to need salt. Um, if you're only making one loaf of bread, you're going to need two eggs, but I'm making two, so I have four. Baking soda, some cinnamon, and then I um, add applesauce, and I'll tell you guys why. Um, one stick of butter, and that is about it. First things first, oh, and obviously I forgot the banana, so... You're gonna need four um, ripe, very ripe bananas, preferably. Mine's were not that ripe, so I put them in the oven um, to bake for 20 minutes at 350. Um, that's a little trick that I learned if you don't have very brown bananas. So the key to a good banana bread is you wanna make sure that your bananas are, that's Valerie back there, <laughs> just kidding. Um, your bananas are nice and ripe. So that's what I did. That's a little trick for you guys if you didn't know, or you could use the, brown paper bag method so you kind of just put them in a brown paper bag and let them sit in like the sun or something if you have the time so first things first we're gonna be starting with um, you want to make sure that you're separating you have a couple of bowls you want to have a bowl for your wet ingredients and then a bowl for your dry ingredients all right we're gonna be starting with two cups of flour actually we're gonna do a little bit less because I don't have a lot of flour I'm gonna make two loaves so actually let's do two cups. We're gonna do two cups of flour. So I have a little measuring cup here. So one, and then two cups. So that's two cups of flour. Then we're gonna be adding some bacon, um, baking soda so we're gonna have a teaspoon of that teaspoon which is this have a teaspoon of baking soda that in there and then um, one uh, one fourth teaspoon of salt so that's how small so I'm using pink salt okay I'm popping in the salt Okay, and now that we got our stuff in, um, our dry ingredients in this bowl, we're gonna put that aside. And now we're gonna be doing our wet ingredients. So, your wet ingredients are obviously gonna be your butter, your eggs, and um, your sugar. We're gonna start off with one uh, stick of butter, and this was at room, this was at room temperature already. So, just gonna pop it in there that's for one of them and then we're gonna get three fourth cups of brown sugar um, but I'm using I'm using white because I don't have brown sugar I'm like ducking down because the setup here is a little annoying so I'm just gonna be using the same bowl doesn't really matter okay so three fourths a cup of sugar which is about six ounces Putting that in there. And then we are going to, oh, one thing that I forgot to tell you guys is that you need to beat the eggs in a separate bowl before adding them, <laughs> before adding them to the butter and the sugar. So we're just gonna whisk these guys together. Like so. Look at the flick of the wrist. <laughs> Look at the flick of the wrist. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna add 
these eggs to our sugar and our butter. Okay, I'm gonna go batter these and I'll be right back. So my tip for you guys, um, when it comes to doing any bread, is don't beat them too much because then that's what doesn't make them too fluffy when you beat it too much. So I'm gonna go do that and I will be right back. All right, so this is what it's supposed to look like once you batter it. Let me show you guys real quick. Um, so this right here is just the sugar, the butter, and the eggs battered together. And then I mashed up four ripe bananas. So you need four ripe bananas for one loaf of bread. So I just use this thing to mash them, but you could also use a fork. Um, and the softer they are, the easier it is. So next what we're gonna do is that we're gonna add all of the ingredi ingredients together. I'm gonna add the banana to this. We are going to just mix that a little bit so it makes it easier when I add the flour and stuff. Just flip it and then we are going to add our dry ingredients which is our flour, baking soda and our salt. Beautiful. And then just mix it. I, w I don't like to like fold it a lot just because I said I want the bread to be fluffy I want it to be moist um, I do not like dry banana bread so so you just start folding and it starts kind of becoming like a dough like a cake batter in a way but just take your time and fold it okay if your arms get a little tired Okay, so keep folding it and then I'm gonna add my secret ingredient, which actually I don't even think it's in a secret ingredient. I feel like most people know this. So I'm gonna add one of these little things of applesauce. Uh, I usually like to add uh, sour cream, but I don't have any sour cream. So the reason why I add sour cream or applesauce is because it makes it more moist. Um, so like I said, don't like dry banana bread. So if you guys like that, moist banana bread I would definitely recommend either just add in a little bit of applesauce or one fourth cups of sour cream but like I said I don't have um, sour cream so we're using applesauce and Valerie was very nice so let me use one of her applesauces okay and then I'm just gonna add a couple of more things um, obviously I need to add the chocolate chip so I think that's good that's a good consistency. Now I'm just gonna add a little dash of vanilla extract. Um, there's not much left on this, so I'm just gonna add this to it. Just gives it a little bit more flavor. Um, and then we're gonna add a little bit of cinnamon. And if you guys don't like cinnamon, so if you guys don't have to add these, I just like it personally. And then we're just gonna add the rest. We're not gonna. We're gonna add these semi-sweet chocolate chips. Um, like I'm doing two loaves of banana bread because my mom, Sarah Mancilla, she does not like chocolate. So she doesn't like her banana bread with chocolate chips. My sister, my brother, and I, and my, my dad doesn't really mind. We do like chocolate chips, so I have to make two. I'm gonna add a little bit more chocolate chips. I use the semi-sweet chocolate chips. Just gonna add a couple more. Just gonna mix them. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna be putting my banana bread into this little bowl, um, little bacon thing. I don't know what it's why I, I honestly don't know, guys. So it, it just looks like this. And I buttered it and put flour on it so it doesn't stick. Just add, and your oven should be preheated to 350, okay? So we're just adding all this batter make sure you get all of it done so it doesn't go to waste I'm just gonna just kind of squash this down okay so that is ready so this is ready to go into the oven okay, guys I got both of my breads ready um, my oven is at 350 now we're just gonna pop them into the oven it's already preheated they're gonna go in so 
There's one. And there is two going into the oven. And now I'm just gonna put the timer for about 55 minutes. Actually, let's do an hour. Okay, I'm gonna put it for an hour. And so I just popped them into the oven, so I'm gonna check them about an hour, test them to see if they're cooked, and then I will check back with you guys once they're done, and then we're gonna have a test test with a taste test with myself, obviously, because I want them, my sister, and maybe my mom, we shall see. Guys, it's been about 55 minutes since I put the breads in, and then usually use a toothpick, but I'm gonna use this to check if they're ready. So all you basically, oh my God, it's gonna fog up everything, so. Kinda tested that one out already, just gonna stick this in here. And see, okay, it's done. All right, so I'm just gonna take them out of the oven. Okay guys, these are the banana bread, so I'm just gonna let them sit for like 15 minutes. Don't cut into your banana bread as soon as they're done. Give them like 10, 15 minutes. And then we're gonna do the taste test. You guys can tell, kind of got a little piece of it just to make sure it was actually really cooked. But yeah, they're good, they're nice and toasty, and now we're gonna try them. That is one slice of the banana bread without any chocolate chips. We are going to um, taste test them in a few and now I'm just gonna get a slice of this one. All right, Valerie's here. We're gonna taste test with Valerie. So first, we're gonna be trying the chocolate chip one. I'm just gonna grab a little bite. Ready? Wait, wait, Hold on, I can't really see you. Ready? Uh, yeah. Mmm. This is like nice and moist. Not for nothing, guys, but it came out bomb. But now we're gonna do the normal one without chocolate chip. Banana bread. Cheers. Mm -hmm. That's better. <laughs> okay, guys, well, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it with something different. Um, I hope you guys. Enjoy this video. Let me know if you guys like these type of videos. I'm thinking of a couple of other ideas. Let me know also if you guys try out this recipe. Send me pictures. Comment down below what your favorite type of baking goods you like to bake. But yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.